Hello, my name is Dr. Freddy Garcia. Today we're joined by Dr. Mark Ellis from Atlanta, Georgia. Dr. Ellis, how are you doing today? Uh, it's a wonderful day up here in Georgia. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I want to hop on and do a brief interview with you because you are presenting at this year's, the 2019 International Symposium in Clinical Neuroscience taking place May 24th through the 26th in Orlando, Florida. And we are excited to have you there. Well, I'm really excited to be there. Uh, as you know, I've been there from the beginning as a learner and very thrilled to be on the other side of the podium presenting this year. Thank you. Yeah, fantastic. And I know I've seen you at the previous events are a great time. And this time to see you on stage is going to be very exciting for me since I've known you for a very long time. Um, you have an amazing reputation uh, within our group as a manual therapist, as a soft tissue expert. Um, but for some people, you may be new to them. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and kind of where you came from? Uh, yes, I started in the healthcare industry uh, approximately 20 years ago as a sports massage therapist. And that was where I began to do a lot of soft tissue work and a lot of work with fascia. Then I progressed along and I got my chiropractic degree. And then I always wanted to know how the body worked. So I was, of course, drawn to the Carrick Institute and the answers that you guys provide for how the nervous system works. So I earned my diploma in chiropractic neurology. I have my fellowship in functional neurology and I have my specialty in traumatic brain injuries as well. And I've just continued to integrate uh, the work that I started 20 years ago with what I continue to learn from the Institute today. Beautiful, um, which brings me to my next question, Dr. Ellis. Um, this year, you have a very specific topic and that topic that you're presenting on is fascia's role in their nervous system's control of movement. So I gotta ask you, why did you choose that topic and why did you feel it was important to present on it at this year's event? Yes, well, uh, I've been studying fascia for quite a, a fair bit of time. I'm a founding member of the International Fascial Research Congress and I've been integrating that with my functional neurology applications. And I've found that very frequently with fascial manipulation, I'm able to modulate the kinetics of humankind, and I'm able to change the cerebellar and basal ganglionic activities to improve movement with fascial manipulation. And with fascial manipulation of the viscera, uh, we do a very good job at modulating rhombocephalic activities and changing vagal nerve integrations to help people to uh, become more healthy. And I thought that it would be nice to share because the ISCN has learners from so many disciplines where you have medical doctors from some of the top uh, schools in the world all the way down to people who are manual therapists. And I wanted to share that with the manual therapists so that they could better apply their work. This is fantastic because, you know, as I look at all the literature, you watch this evolution of fascia, right? From being that thing that we used to move out of the way during dissection to suddenly realizing that it has a significance in our neurophysiology and the fact that you are leading that and starting to build those connections in regards to using it clinically, I think is gonna be of a great interest to a lot of clinicians. So we are excited about that presentation. Thank you very much. I am looking forward to sharing it. Excellent. So if you want to hear more from Dr. Ellis and about his research and all the things he's going to be teaching us at this year's ISCN, it's taking place May 24th through 26th, Orlando, Florida. Dr. Ellis, thank you so much for your time again, and we'll see you there. Thank you. Look forward to it.